Hi guys, this is my Caladium. Um, and right now I only have two in my possession. This is one of my first ones. She, uh, her variety is called War, uh, Carolyn Wharton. I'm sorry, I'm dyslexic, plus I have PCS, so um, it can be tricky. So anyway, this is what her leaves look like. Um, this is more of a newer leaf than this, so the it does get bigger. Um, I will show you, she has a little bit of burning because I did put her, I would say, about a foot and a half closer to the window, and that made a huge difference. That's why this is burning, and I put her back in a different spot. So she sits in front, uh, she sits six feet away from a... I would say maybe five, five, six, uh, five feet away from an east facing window. And all of my windows do not have anything blocking them. There are no plants or trees outside. There's no curtain, nothing. So, um, that's one of it. And also I do have some plants in front of the window, like indoors. And sometimes, you know, it can have like a little bit of obstruction right there, but not really that much. Um, so she has flowered for me, I believe one time it could have been, a, there could have been a second time. I don't remember, but I know at least once she has flowered for me. I have noticed with this particular plant when I first got it, the leaves she came in with really did, um, wilt rather quick, quickly than the newer ones that grew with me. It could just be with whatever I do uh, provide with it. I do water this once a week, and that's it. Um, I haven't seen any kind of response from the plant itself that I am overwatering, and I also do not. Um, I try to make sure I give her about, um, I'd say, a half a cup to three quarters. Sometimes it's a little bit more, and when it does go a little bit more, I have really good soil. So it just goes in the saucer and I just have to dump everything that's in here. I don't like, um, just a little tip, and this is from my experience as well. If you want to keep anything in the saucer, just make sure that you do know that that is constantly still watering your plant until it dissipates because that is touching whatever is in the bottom and my bottom is only um, the screen and soil. So it is still getting absorbed. If you put rocks in the bottom, those also suck up moisture. So I would suggest you always dump it or always try to only water what they need. For whatever reason, this plant prefers to be like frequently watered, but not a ton of water from my experience. And um, the flower isn't very showy. It's just, it's just really a beautiful surprise. Um, and from what I've noticed, when it does flower, the leaves tend to wilt rather quicker. But that is kind of normal because whenever there is a plant that does produce flowers, a lot of times it will strain the plant because flowers actually suck up a lot more energy to keep. So just so you know, you know, if your leaves are wilting rather quickly and you have a flower that's blooming or coming out, um, you're not really doing anything wrong. It's just that that's, it, it's just straining the plant a little bit. A lot of people do cut the flowers off because they're not really like a very showy kind of flower. They're not a lilac. They're not an orchid. It's just, it just looks like a pod with a bunch of seeds in there. So, um, I don't, I actually wait for it to wilt and it does wilt rather kind of an average for a flower. Um, I, um, so that's okay for me. And I'm going to zoom in real quick for the new ones that are growing. This one always produces new stuff, new growth for me. So I'm very, very happy with this. This is one of my first caladiums and I will vlog the other one that I do have. All of the leaves that she has, um, these were grown. I mean, these are new growth in my care. All the older leaves that she had when I got her first, those have already expired and I have cut them up and put them in my compost. Um, I hope you enjoyed my video. You're going to hit the like, subscribe, and of course the bell so you're notified every single time I do upload a new video. If you are curious about what I do feed this particular plant, it is in the description section just like my social media accounts as well. 
Any questions, tips, comments, if I have the wrong variety, let me know down in the comment section. I love hearing from you guys all the time. If you just want to talk about caladiums, anything to do with this particular plant, let me know in the comment section. I love hearing from you guys all the time. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you in the next update. Bye.